Hello, everyone. Uh, I think it's time to hit my mic on the desk. I think it's time to uh, have a little chat once again. Don't worry, this isn't going to be as heavy or as depressing as the last one, but this one does deal a little bit more with depression, I guess. I'm not even sure what, to, like, what even to think about it, think of it, because, uh, you know, it's kind of killing me here. Not, not really killing me, but it's taking a mental toll on me. Uh, yeah. And if you're here for Evolve, uh, I'm working on the videos, but I'm having a mental block going on it's very slowly. It's kind of wearing me out, and I've, I've been, like, falling asleep on my computer lately, and I almost never do that nowadays, but it's come back, and <laughs> it's pretty bad. I don't like it. I hate it. Um, So, let me just start. Of course, you all, if you watched the previous little bit of this, I suppose I'll make this a series or something like that, a uh, little heart-to-heart -heart chat of grief and loss. I lost my dog on a Sunday afternoon around four o'clock I believe it was the I'm not even sure what day it is I just it time has escaped me for the last few weeks ever since then and it's I don't know like it's kind of hard to explain uh, ever since that day I have gotten a lot of sleep more so than I would usually but no matter how much I sleep, I just can't not be, you know, sleepy. It's, it's weird. Uh, my dreams have also become incredibly, incredibly vivid. More so than I've ever experienced, ever, ever. And they're, they're getting to be quite strange indeed. It's a lot of heavy events. I don't like... I've been held at gunpoint in dreams now. I've had friends held at gunpoint. I've had situations where I need to like save someone's life or I end up dying or something like that, you know. Those kind of dreams. It's really weird. And it's never been anything that's like normal. Even if it's like a normal place, like a hotel or something like that, I'm still getting this weird feeling that I'm like having a freak out even though nothing nothing is really going on. I don't I don't know, it's weird, like, my dreams have just become so strange and very foreign to me. It's very, I don't, I don't know, I've never had my dreams be so strange to me. It's a bit unnerving, but not really at the same time. Like, I, I kind of enjoy them just because they're so strange, but at the same time, I think you gotta really, like, at some point, you really have to think, what is going on with me? What is going on? What is doing on? And that's kind of what this video wants to, like, wants to do. As much as I, like, want to talk about stuff, it's more so I have, like, a morbid curiosity about logging myself. I used to do it a lot back in middle school and high school where I would have, like, little emotional dump, you know, you know those things, like a diary, pretty much, where I would kind of, like, track how I think and what I was doing just to see how I was and then compare myself to a later date or earlier date and, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I have, like, a little, like, curiosity about what I'm thinking about at that time and all that stuff and how I'm reacting to it also. It's very... I think I don't think it's, like sane to do that, but um, I don't I don't care. It's what I do, and it's kind of how I cope with things. Uh, but I just completely derailed my train of thought. Um, wow. Hold on a sec. All right, so my dreams have just been absolutely like nuts sleep. I've been getting more than eight hours of sleep a night, which is unheard of for me. But at the same time, I'm waking up every so often because these dreams just shake me awake. They're that intense, and it's, I don't know, it's not cool, 
uh, but cool at the same time. It's you know you, when you have a dream that is so vivid that you awake from it because it's so real. I I find that to be quite fun. But same time, sometimes I don't, because the few dreams that I have died. It's kind of like you wake up from it, and life just feels so weird to be living like you think that you just completely like died in that dream but it was a dream you woke up from it and hey you're still alive and it's like where am i and that's kind of how i've been living for the past few weeks since my dog died uh life just feels very surreal it doesn't it doesn't feel real anymore it's i don't know i i still realize that i'm in life like i'm alive but same time <clears throat> it's still very surreal. Like, I, don't, I can't put my finger on it, but it just feels so odd. And I can't put it into words. I just feel out of place. You know, it's... that It's weird to explain. Like, I can't... I can't... Cannot put it into words. It just does not want to form into words. But it's a feeling that's I can feel very well inside me, but... It just doesn't want to be, you know... Put into words. We can't explain it, I guess. It's, what I'm saying here, I, I mean, yes, I am saying that, but, yeah. And it's it's kind of taking a toll on me, because I'll sleep for all these hours, and then feel like I got no sleep at all, even though, you know, I, I'm dreaming, which means I'm in, you know, heavy sleep, but doesn't mean crap or something. I don't know. I'm saying I don't know and but a lot in this. Just a heads up. <laughs> it's... A bit, ugh, because this has been going for the past few, going on for the past few weeks, and it's starting to catch up to me. I had this huge mental, like, this huge mental barrier ready for the day, because once my dog started having seizures, and she was getting up in age, I, I, at some point, I knew that it was gonna happen, and I was trying my best to prepare for it. And the day that my dog's heart stopped for the first time, I didn't know what to think. I Like, legitimately, I was at a loss. I didn't know what to do. I kind of just kind of... Just kind of, just kind of, you know? You just... You break at that moment. And then when she popped back into life, her heart restarted itself. That's when I really got to thinking that, you know... She's probably going to die soon. And, well, she did. So, you know, kind of sucks. But I was more than ready for it mentally. And now I think that's kind of starting to wear off. Like, it's it's kind of like an army just slamming at your doors over and over again. Eventually they're going to break in. I thought for sure I was, like, over it already, but I don't think I am. Uh, maybe not. Because I often, oftentimes I am working on night shift. I have a lot of time to myself to think about, you know, my own thoughts. And that's not good. That is not good. Not a good thing for me. No. Definitely not. <laughs> if I end up being in silence enough, eventually my thoughts just kind of turn back to my dog. And it's just like, I hate everything about you brain just stop please but no the brain continues to do things and it continues to think about you know the lost dog and it's just please stop it just says no 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 bruh i'm just gonna keep thinking about you know your dog and fine and then i just kind of get all in a like a, a, a tizzy <laughs> as i think about my dog and you know all the events leading up to that and yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> but same time, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I feel like at some point I'm probably going to break. And the funny thing is, I think I'll be ready for that one. <laughs> just as I was ready for my dog mentally. And then I'm sure that I'll get past that, you know. I have full faith in myself for getting past that. I mean, I'm... So far, I thought, like, <laughs> I think everybody thought I would be depressed for years to come after my dog passed away. 
And so far, I'm just kind of like, you know, turning the other cheek, but... The other cheek, both cheeks are starting to get a little red, I think, because I'm being slapped a lot. More than, more than a lot, actually. Like, I'm being kicked in the nuts at this point, probably. And it kind of sucks, so... I hope it stops. <laughs> uh... But yeah, at some point there's gonna be a breaking point, and something's gonna happen. Whether it be the shift manager at my work says the wrong thing to me and I go haywire, which, trust me, I'm gonna scream at him probably, but that's just screaming. I'm not gonna go physically murder somebody, that's not who I am. I'll probably scream a lot and yell and then quit. <laughs> or someone at home is gonna say something to me and that's not gonna sit well. It's been close a few times now. Oh my god. And, you know, I'll, I'll scream then too, and then probably get kicked out of the house, and oh god, that would be awful. <laughs> but, you know, that's that's the thing. That's that's a viability. We're prepared for those options anyway. It's always good to have plans for things that, that are unexpected, or expected, who knows, you know. Just gotta have a plan ready for whatever, everything. Everything. Plan for everything possible. It's all about those mental barricades, which of course are dying for me. And, you know, it's just kind of meh. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I wanted to segue into, but I got caught in a tangent in a fury of stuff. So hold on while I recollect my thoughts. I suppose that my thoughts are recollected, and I'll kind of go into, you know, what are you going to feel if you're in the same situation as me? It's a little bit strange because, you know, everybody has to handle it differently, and everybody will handle it differently. I doubt you'll ever be in this, anybody in the entire universe will be in the same situation as me because, you know, they'll think differently. Everybody, everyone thinks differently, everyone reacts differently to everything, and you can't really put a thing on it, but... I suppose, in the off chance someone does happen to think the same way as me, the exact same way, then you can kind of expect some nonsense. Uh, what really bugs me is the fact that I'm really just kind of dropping thoughts mid-sentence, or mid-conversation. you know, mid -conversation. I, I kind of like absentmindedly forget things now. And that's not something I've always done. Definitely not. Like, I will almost always remember a conversation for a short time at least you know like a normal person but this one I'm having trouble with and I'm having a lot of trouble focusing in it's kind of a pain and another thing you might experience is vulnerability to just sound in general like heavy sounds or silence uh, like I said early on like early on the first few days Silence was absolutely suffocating to me, and I experienced, like, not too long ago, like an hour ago, I was at a restaurant, and just the general conversation and all the sounds of the restaurant, like, I was, I don't know, it, it, something in me did not like it. It felt so wrong, and I have never, ever felt something like that ever before. Never. It, it's just... It felt, it felt, it could feel a fish. It felt so weird. I don't know. It just, it, I felt like I wanted to scream, but you know, you're in a restaurant. You can't do that. You just know screaming in a restaurant, unless you're a small child and you can scream all you want. I don't know. It, it, like, I've never had that happen before. And it's something that's so strange to me. Like, everything is strange to me now. Maybe I should go play TF2, because they have Stranges over there. Uh, I mean, I don't... I'm going to say it again. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Everything's just so, like, odd nowadays, ever since then. Not a clue. I just don't know. And, I mean, like, really, this video's point is not to whine, to complain. I am more than mentally capable of dealing with this. But, you know, 
it's all part of that morbid curiosity to just to just have it logged somewhere. And also, of course, to, you know, share experiences with other people. And to apparently drop all of our thoughts again. Wow. I, like, I'm getting sick of this. This is getting really annoying. I have, like, six tracks on this Audacity recording so far. Okay. Wow. I mean, <clears throat> I could not share my experiences and just simply, you know, babble to myself in a recording, but, you know, sharing it, of course, allows other people to find it, and, you know, and by chance they find it and they're in the same situation once again, then it could help them. Who knows? So, I mean, why not do it? Just why not? And, of course, it also gives you a bit of an insight to the nonsense you can expect from this channel, because I post a lot of nonsense, m many nonsenses per second. And, you know, that's what I want my channel to really be, just a bunch of stuff. I don't I don't want to really have anything focused too much besides Evolve that's going to be sticking around for a long time I think but other than that my channel's just been a mishmash of nonsense for the most part stupid videos stupid let's plays stupid videos with friends you know it's just stuff and I think I've got to get off the topic of my channel now because that's not what this I, it's the purpose of the video, but it's not the purpose of the video. I'm, my brain can't handle this. My brain just does not know how to words anymore. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, on another note, if you work the same way as I do, you might start singing to yourself a lot late, like uh, as of late. I've been doing that a lot to try and cut out the silence, and I think people are thinking I'm going crazy or something. So watch out for that. Don't, don't do that unless you're alone. Unless you know you're alone, or else they're gonna think you're crazy too. But yeah, that's that's a thing too. So, I think I'm gonna sign off for now. This little fireside chat, basically, and well, uh, I'm gonna try to put together a video again. <laughs> another Evolve video, and I think I'm just gonna go to bed, and something else that has been bugging me lately, like, I've noticed that I have always woken up from a dream around 3 o'clock, and 3 o'clock is when I found my dog acting very strange. And then, of course, she was acting strange for about an hour or so, and then she passed away around 4 o'clock. And it's weird because I've always woken up, woken up at 3 or 4, and it's always those times consistently. So I think perhaps something subconsciously is trying to tell me, you know, you're not, you're not done with this shit yet. You're going you're gonna to deal with it some more, and then you're going to face it. It's like, I faced it enough already. Come on, please. And, and then it just yells at me and says, nah, nah, bro, you're going to continue dealing with this. So I think maybe... There's some kind of subconscious nonsense going on, and I have no idea how I'm going to combat that, because it's the subconscious. How do you fight your subconscious? I don't know. <laughs> Once again, I do not know. Um, and oddly enough, the dreams have been very strange, but they're also sort of... I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a specific dream to pop up. If you can even really say that about dreams, because you cannot, cannot control your dreams. Unless you're one of those lucid dreamers that supposedly have the power to control their dreams because they, you know, do specific things and I've yet to ever, like, have it work. So, you're all a bunch of mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I'm waiting for a specific dream. I'm waiting for, like, something. I don't know. Like, this is going to sound completely idiotic to you guys, but it makes sense to me. I'm waiting for a dream with my dog in it, you know. I'm waiting for her to pop up eventually. I'm sure she, I'm sure she will, but so far I've only seen glimpses. And it kind of sucks because, you know, it's like she's right there, but I just can't get to her. She's 
just kind of like hanging out there and it sucks a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of been a common thing in my dreams where I've just kind of like glimpsed her for a split second. But that's it. And, you know, ever since she'd passed away, I've been waiting for that dream to pop up where it's like, oh, hey, I can finally, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe say I found goodbye or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> But I have yet to have that dream pop up, and I'll I'll be waiting, waiting for it. And I think I'll end this video of complete nonsense now. This has just been some kind of super ramble. Like, I've never rambled harder than this, but I don't know. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. I don't know. But, you know, you got to know what you don't know in order to not know what you know. Something like that. I have no idea. Yeah, I, at this point, I'm just gonna click the stop button and I'll continue babbling nonsense in my own brain for a while. Don't worry about me, guys. I, I'm fine for the most part. I just need time to, like, figure out what's going on. Because I can function as, like, a normal person, but I don't know. Something internal is just not right and I've got to figure it out and it kind of sucks like as I said before it just doesn't feel right life still feels very surreal to me and <clears throat> I just can't put a f can't put my finger on what's what's up and my throat's going going dry oh god <laughs> so yeah I think it'll be a few more days before I update again and hopefully I'll have an answer for what's going on with me because I, I'm not liking this too much as much as it is a emotional cleansing basically I kind of feel like a pregnant woman right now where I'm just kind of like going on <laughs> like highly aggressive moments to breaking down for the most part sometimes I don't know but I think we're gonna end this video with I don't know no, I'm not going to do that. I'll just see you guys <clears throat> in whatever video you click on next, and hope to see you over if I do it in the next nonsense video I put up.